Hello, this is uh, another viewer request. This came in recently. Um, this is to do Prime, which I've done quite a few times now. Um, but this time it wanted to use Prime, but using a recursive function. So here's my uh, my main program. So I'm just going to be returning a one or a zero, for whether it's Prime or not. If I look, uh, take a little bit past it to it. If I look at my check Prime function, you can see here's the recursion here. So he takes in the value either returns a zero, returns a one for prime or not prime, or recalls it and does it again with the next value as it goes through. So that is an example of how we can use recursion. We can test that. So if I step through it with um, nine as our input, so nine is not a prime number. So I want to step through this, I can just see it on the function. Let's get that back up again. Okay, so if we step through, we'll use 9. We can look at our variables as well. Go. So So we check if n the number is equal to i, i is 2, it's not. Uh, if n mod i is 0, well it's not going to be. So it recalls that value again, but this time it's doing with 3. So is 3, no it's not, but can it be modded? Yes it can, that means it's going to return a 1. I'll just go through the last few steps and then through the recursion and it's going to return 9 is not prime. So let's run that again with 5. 5 obviously is a prime number. So we step through it. N is I. No it's not. Can it be modded? No it can't. Call that again. So now we're doing the next N. So no, no, next one, no, no, next one, so now five, so I can return, it's not had a division so I can return a zero and it will just step through the last of the uh, thing is and return prime, there we go. So that's an example of using recursion to solve the age-old problem of identifying whether a number is prime or not. I hope that helps you.